and uh, Avila is not. Uh, Avila is three three on the way right now, but it pretty much just started. So I feel like he'll he'll definitely have some potential to do damage here with just uh, swarms of Roachling moving in. But I, I as you said, you know he hasn't really. Oh, there we go. Right right on the production tab. Eleven Vipers are on the way. So I feel like that's exactly what he needed to deal with Avila right now. Yeah, and Avila's pushing up the center with the big scary mech force. Does have five widow mines with that. Moving out in the front. Great tactic here utilized by experienced Terrans in the beta. Harassing at the north with the Banshee while he repositions his army, and you can see almost all the forces of Honey Bear are up there. Is he gonna go for the base trade here? That's what it looks like. Swinging through the north, and Avila only has two tanks at home that weren't even siege. So the Lings are just streaming by, they don't even care. I think the Roaches will probably have no problem sniping these off as Lings make it over here. Still the bunker from the initial stages though by Avila, that's actually gonna help out a lot in delaying the damage he suffers. And he's got a burly's widow mines! Oh no, the Vipers just flew straight over them! Oh, but he actually deals great damage there. I think he's retreated a little bit from the center, trying to siege up tanks and like regain control of his natural. That bunker helps so much, man. Because now there's only these roaches left. And uh, it's it's not something too overwhelming by any means. But you can see Avila's pulled all over the place in regards of where he has to pay attention. Yeah, definitely. But I think he can uh, swing this in his favor for sure. I mean, he's got tanks and widow mines at the uh, fifth base of Honey Bear, uh, de dealing damage there. And if he can shut down this roach attack at home, uh, I mean, he hasn't really lost that much from this. And Honey Bear threw away a whole army and possibly his fourth base. Uh, well, down at the over at the front, rather, Avilo did lose any unit that he didn't retreat with, so he has suffered substantial damage in in that regard. Honey Bear did hold off that hatchery, it's pretty weak, and you can see like the saturation isn't too healthy. But over at the top left he's got two hatcheries, and that's a pretty healthy position for mining. Flies over Widow Mines again in the center. Busting through the center towards this P4, three Widow Mines burrow just in time, but all the mech is over in the main. Avilo's still recovering from all that damage he suffered there, from like the mass roach run by. Force is not quite in position to deal with this and sick blinding clouds on these tanks. That's the only angle of approach for the tanks right now. And Honey Bear really can punish that here. He's got a blinding cloud that P fourth though. Because he, that actually works right now. You can Really? Yeah, you That's can blinding cloud yeah. P fourth. Oh my god, look at those blinding clouds on those tanks. They Holy can't do a thing. That allows him to retreat with almost all of his roaches. If you look at the supply count, he really needed to retain there because if you compare banks, avilo has got a lot of money built up, lose units right now, I mean, well he lost units, he's got to rebuild them, that's what he's doing, but Honey Bear really couldn't have afforded to replenish that so much. He's remaxed now, but I don't think he would have been if he didn't get those sick blinding clouds. And he transfuses up his uh, Vipers, getting ready to move in again, but Avila's pissed off and he's pushing through the center with a whole bunch of tanks. Yeah, smart move to pull back by Honey Bear, it's not something he wants to engage into, but... Uh, if he gets his Vipers in position, I mean, it seems like you just take on an unlimited amount of tanks with those Vipers. So they're just so strong with Blinding Cloud against Siege Tanks. Yeah, he's really punishing the fact that there are, like, no Vikings out at all. Uh, the, the reactors were picked off by those Roaches. So that really is limiting the starport production of Avilo. He, he's finally starting to make them, though. And pushing in now with more Blinding Clouds and Roaches is Honey Bear. Can he crush this mech push, or are there enough tanks? You can see how far back that tank line goes, but so did the blinding clouds, and the roaches are really doing damage here. Yeah, uh, I mean, that that position was so strong for Avila, he was able to hold, but uh, he definitely needs some sort of way to deal with these, these vipers. It, it looks like well, he's just no making left, more tanks. He killed, he killed all the vipers with his vikings. So I think that, that was pretty good for Avila, but Honey Bear's completely remaxed, he's still just making roaches and links and vipers. Really confident in this composition. Avilo has managed though to get his fifth base down here. It's, it's like mined pretty heavily. So by no means is, does he like need to kill his Zerg opponent at this time. He has so many CCs built up and just adding factories. His production is pretty sick. This is a standoff here in the late game. Half yeah, one thing I break. think Honey Bear could improve on is getting the melee upgrades and the adrenal glands because he's still making a decent amount of links. Oh, check out the uh, When I thought he was. Sorry, like, look, look at this shit. These overlords at the top. Oh, yeah. This is crazy shit. Yeah. How is he gonna hold his, his fourth from do this a lot. tank push? This is this is really awkward, man. I, like I think these tanks are just gonna be able to shred this hatchery to bits. But what's gonna happen to the production of a villa after these roaches go down in the main? Yeah, I think a villa realizes now he'll start to advance his tanks more quickly. 
Because the roaches have unloaded and he's dumped them all over the production. No turrets from Avillo, banking 5k minerals. I mean, in TVT you're going to throw down the fat turret ring, but I think you got to do it in TVZ too. In the late game here. So we see Honey, Honey Bear really punishing that. And Vikings thwart the... The Vipers from landing uh, the blinding clouds here as the roaches push in, they just straight up die. Because that tank count is absurd. How many total? 17 tanks. So Avila's unseized and heading home. <laughs> this Jake, that shit. was a worth it trade. I mean, I, f I feel like th uh, that might have been better for Honey Badger than Avila almost. Honey Bear, sure. buddy. Or yeah, sorry. <laughs> Badgers are little pussy animals. This is some crazy forest creature. <laughs> oh shit, but yeah, now with all these roaches getting trapped, I feel like that probably wasn't worth it. I mean, those roaches are probably worth the uh, Avila's production by themselves. Not to mention the base that he lost in that exchange. Yeah, but the roaches are kind of trapped up here. I wonder yeah. how this is going to work out. Like, It looks like he's he giving switching all of to tanks there, so. now. Yeah, I really think Honeybear can punish the fact that like all of the fucking tanks are in Avila's main right now. He's leaving his other yeah. bases exposed. I mean... Single planetaries aren't that overwhelming in the late game. There's lots of roach carcasses here. Holy shit. Yeah. There's so many widow mines in the middle of the map. Jesus. Yeah, 17 total. Six ultras in production along with 56 link. The fusion core has been thrown down for Avillo. Uh, he, he, I think he needs two more gas geysers, really. And Honey Bear's like creeped into the one base he doesn't have. And secured the or not secured, but it's thrown down a hatch in the other one. Oh, these widow mines! Oh, the link out! Oh my! Oh! Oh shit! He just shredded so many links, like forty links. Yeah, I think this. Uh, yeah, that hatch is obviously dead. And the Vipers just tank the Vikings. They don't give a fuck. Land the Viking or er, land the blinding cloud forces the unsiege and crushes the tank. The ultralisks are just gonna kill everything. Oh, and Avila says <laughs> LOL. Oh I can't my. believe that just happened. That was... He, cr he crushed <laughs> the tank line, man. He used to like land his vikings or something. And land the vikings I don't know, he just against an ultras. <laughs> Must be a Protoss player. <laughs> Must be a Protoss player. He lost all his production, eh? So, I mean, he really has like three factories right now. That's about it. He has six Banshees, though, and there's, there's nothing from Honey Bear to deal with this, but... Honey Bear is going to kill a lot more production once more. He's Honey Bear did get the Hydra den and is getting Hydra speed now. He realizes that that unit isn't complete shit in this game and that against mass air it might actually be worth building, especially as he has the upgrades already. Alright, so, I mean, there, there's a bunch of Widow Mines. Like, you see the supply right now of Herville 123. Uh, what is, how do I do army supplies? Like, control A. Yeah. Half of his army supplies. Fucking widow mine standing in the middle of the map. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious he doesn't have any production. Killed it all, Honey Bear, with your fat roach drops. Honey Bear's supply is absolutely plummeting, though, and his bank is smaller than Avillo's. Like these banshees are actually picking apart the ultralisk count. There's there's no mining for Avillo anymore. He has 180 mineral income. That fat bank what he's got to rely on to stay in this game. It looks like he's got a fusion core up. Maybe he's going to go battle cruisers. How do you think battle cruisers would fare against the uh, speed hydras? Um, it depends on the upgrades. Uh, what what are the air upgrades currently? They're uh, three or one attack, three armor. Yeah, you got to grab some. Well, I think the hydras will be fine against it, but it's the banshees that he's going to really have to deal with. Yeah, I think Hydras are really good against Banshees, but uh, Battle Cruisers can be strong with repair and PDDs, man. It doesn't matter. Like, we were playing the other day, and I was going mass Battle Cruisers, and in you were you were doing Hydra shit with with some Blinding Clouds, and uh, in the engagements we had when there's a PDD, it, it went my way despite like my army not all being there. The Battle yeah, Cruisers I definitely are, are, are tanky and pretty yeah. powerful. Yeah, I definitely only won that game from Superior Economy. Battle Cruisers actually are still pretty cost effective against Hydras. Yeah. Especially with the problem uh, with PDD good is like upgrades. When he can get them and have them effective and wow these overseers 
get picked apart by the Widow Mines, but that's about all those Widow Mines are going to do because <laughs> there's still some 1 HP Overseers left over. This hatchery got taken down, I guess, by Banshees, and now there's just Widow Mines raining down over there. With this mass, but he has so many Vikings, man. So I guess there's like there's no way Honey Bear's going to make any air units right now. Uh, he could, yeah. yeah. He landed his Vikings, even. Uh, but the Hydra count, pretty scary at this point. This is a scrappy game, man. This, this is pretty crazy right now. Yeah. Um, in production, more tanks. So how many factories has Avila managed to hold on to? I'm trying to find them. Three in his main. Four, okay. Three with Tech Lab. One with Reactor. Why is Avila not building anything from the starports? Uh, he should make a couple of Ravens, but I guess he's like, if you think about it, Look at the gas that he has remaining, like at his bases, he doesn't have very much. And he has like a very minimal gas bank, so I guess he's worried about investing into something that won't be like supremely cost effective at this state. And tanks are probably better against Hydras than battle cruisers are, and he knows he has his opponent in like a scrappy situation similar to him. The problem for Honey Bear is he doesn't have the same kind of bank that Avila does. Avila can like yeah. mineral dump into Hellions forever after he spends all his gas and then still remax here with like 3-3 three, three upgraded units so I yeah I think this is definitely a, an Avilo favored situation interesting score is zero, 0 here in this best of 5 this is just game 1 guys where oh Hellions top right side top right or top left side oh shit sorry all There's... those drones that's <laughs> like every drone it's so lined up oh god yeah, you got so many, <laughs> just as I skipped there, but now the Hydras are here. And actually, that last shot was pretty nice. You should look at the, just the wor worker's kill just for fun this game. Lots killed by each player. Uh, bases under siege all game. Yeah, I, I think it, uh, if a villa keeps producing Hellions too, he'll be in such a sick spot. I think he's in like, a sick spot. I think this he's got this game, man. He's yeah. denying like all the mining with Banshees. And there's just Hydras bouncing around between two bases. And he has, like, thousands and thousands of minerals. <laughs> Three armor banshees, <laughs> OP. Accurate. <laughs> what? <laughs> I yeah, I really did think uh, Honey Bear had it at that point. Uh, when he did kill that army, but he just couldn't follow through because he didn't have much of a bank left. So pushing up the center now is a Villo. He's got over double his opponent's supply. Sieging up these tanks, there are no Vipers this time. And you can see this Hydra line get absolutely decimated here. Uh, landing the Vikings and Honey Bear leaves without GG. But that was a GG, man. Game one on Daybreak. Exciting.